Mavericks, and most importantly, his skills and creativity. Look at that left. Body kick, he threw a left kick, threw a jab, threw a right hand. He's got various tools to keep him occupied and thinking. Now let's see how he deals being in the corner. Beautiful movement. Oh, quite well, I'd say. <laughs> Good. And what a what a what a wise guy to mix up the right hook to the body as well. I really like that. But good kick, good return. He's still a fighter. He still holds his own. He's still throwing back, which is important. Kosa yeah, is staying very patient. You can tell he's just waiting for the openings and wherever his opponent's blocking, uh, he's just oh. hitting away from the blocks. Hundred percent. Good. That was that was a good first round. That was a good. Like you said, even last time when he fought, he set the tone for the whole card, came out hard, put a, got, got the crowd excited and stuff, and he did the same thing this Absolutely round as well. well. Gatorora can now uh, rest a little bit easier knowing that he did survive longer than uh, <laughs> Kosa's last opponent. That's correct. Did get off a few good kicks at the end there. Um, started to look a little bit more comfortable, but uh, Kosa definitely looking to be the uh, more dominant one in that round. 100%. He definitely did with variety and stuff. But let's see. Let's see if um, his opponent adapts at all or and comes out with the same game plan. I just wish he'll be just a little bit more first. He's waiting too long. He's not faking enough and not using his jab at all. So let's see if he can control that distance a little bit better this round. Yeah, nerves ultimately do get the best of some fighters. So maybe that uh, might be because he hasn't maybe fought as recently as Kosa. Kosa just fighting on the last Mamba card. So. He does have some experience in the ring in the last more year. more comfortable, so. 100%. You're right, he could definitely play a part. Let's see, we're about to find out. That's the beauty about it. Time will only tell. Round two on the way. There we go. So we got the Gurnak at least controlling the, the center of the ring a little bit more better this time. But again, definitely not utilizing his jab at all. It could be the fact that he's a southpaw, you know, his opponent is, uh, he's southpaw and stuff, so he does kind of take the jab away, but beautiful right hand. Oh, wow. Nice. Good, good aggression by Kulvier. Beautiful aggression there. And he's calm, he's not, I like that. He got his opponent hurt, he recovers, recoups, and he's gonna look back to attack again. He's really using those hooks nicely, just alternating between hooks and crosses, and when his opponent tries to block one, he leaves himself open for the other. 100%, and look at him mixing levels with the kicks and with the hands, even the earlier round, get a nice right hook to the body, so he's definitely a clever fighter. And the good thing is, of course, that the arrow was lighter, but cardio is not a factor, or it doesn't seem to be at all, but good exchanges of punches right now on both of them. Both guys certainly looking pretty fresh so far as they uh, exchange some more light kicks. Nice jab. So there you go. See, a little bit jab. It's like, see, every time his lead hand, his lead hand called Kluvier is a lot more educated. And he uses that quite a bit to enter and cover that distance. And he's nice and light on the feet. Wow. Nice right hook. Nice head kick with the right hand. Great Beautiful. overhook and then follows it up with another combo, pushing uh, Garora yeah. back. And, but he's still tough, he still takes, he still moving forward, and he still wants to win. He's definitely mentally not defeated. He might be a little bit outclassed with skill level when it comes to, but that's amateurs, and I'm, and I'm still glad they want to risk it and put it in there. Yeah, a little bit hesitant to throw the hands. It looks like he is uh, more comfortable uh, exchanging kicks. Yeah. Trying to back uh, Kosa up that way. Yeah, but the output of Kulv here is definitely a lot more. Nice, nice body kick. That left hook, he's been fighting its mark all night. That was nice. That was a good two round. Pretty much similar to the to the first round as well. Good exchanges back and forth. I feel that Kulvier is getting the better of it, landing more power punches and controlling the distance a bit more. Yeah, that one uh, certainly I think a bit closer than round one. Um, but Kulvier Kosa looking like he's uh, very comfortable in there. Nice. Round three. Any predictions? <laughs> Put you on the spot. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm not Mystic Max, yeah. so I won't go that far. But uh, from, from what I can tell, their cardio is holding up pretty well. So I really uh, expect is. no diminishing quality for the final yeah. round. And they're both of them looking, both fighters right now, and their body language seems not defeated. They mentally still seem to want it and to win. And that's all you want to see from a young fighter. Even if he is down two rounds, what's his mental state? How does he feel going into the third round? So let's find out if he kind of, you know, gets knocked out, trying to knock the other guy out. So this will make the third round exciting. Yeah, as long as he's got some gas in the tank, he knows that there's a chance he can still pull this off. Round three. 
right away with the down the middle with two shots. Nice jab, a good power kick, a good power nice kick back. The ribs. Now, wow, it's finding its mark. And those are good check. That's a beautiful check. Nice cross. He's got such a cool view. He's got such a beautiful cross down the middle. Look at that again. All day, all day. Nice body. A good counter by Gurner right away with the left hand inside. Yeah, Kosa is just mixing it up so beautifully, getting those combinations off with uh, very little resistance. He does get a little bit of a counter. Oh, at the end, and then he eats the, the head kick. Serious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he fires Ooh. the right hand right back, and he's looking stumble. to finish. There's that lead hook again. He likes to enter and cover distance with the lead hook, Kulvir, and then follow with a beautiful cross down the middle. Oh, nice overhand. Good. Gurner is still game, though. He's still in it. Yeah, can... probably Gurnek's best combination of the night right there. I agree. He, uh... Oh, good slippage there. Really good footwork. Really good footwork by both of them. And that head kick. That's two head kicks this round. Nice, deep. Well, Gulder kind of looks a little bit tired there. Looks like a little bit of fatigue. And Gurner now is looking to get back yeah, on it. Could be. He's yeah, like, He's not coming out of the corner as aggressively as before. And... Uh, they're not able to pressure him uh, with a lot more effectiveness this 100%. time around in the last two rounds. Oh, nice body kick. Good punch. You see the punches by Gulvier definitely becoming a little bit more labored. But it happens. It is third round. You do get tired. Nice cross down the middle by Kurnik. Last 10 seconds. Let's see. Nice overhand. Oh. Both guys going for the finish here. Nice right hand. What a beautiful round. A very solid fight by both gentlemen as we go yeah. to the judges' scorecards And now. you can definitely see on both of them right now after the third round wearing the fatigue a bit, which is good though. That means they left it all out there in the ring, and that's what you want to see from the fighter. Exactly. Leave it all out there. And I did really like to see how Gurnak slowly got a little bit more comfortable as the fight went on that round three. He looked to be the, the fresher fighter 100%. and uh, really, really put yeah. uh, Kosa into some tough spots. At least the hungrier. At least the hungrier, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Knowing very well that he could have been down two rounds, 100%. but ultimately we'll see how the judges decide this one should play out. decision and us as fighters we always crack the same joke the longer the referees the judges take the more nervous we are <laughs> yeah understandable especially especially in a fight that was relatively close as this one uh, yeah it is a little bit tough to say uh, which way the judges might swing because <laughs> you never know with MMA fights sometimes you you see it from a different angle you might uh, argue well this guy won or maybe the other guy won well luckily this is a kickboxing fight so we'll find out <laughs> yeah. Let's see you pulled it out. Let's see it. Awesome. Thank you. The judges have spoken. They scored about 29-28. 30-27 and 29-28 for the fighter battling out of the red corner. You now have to see it. The goalkeeper, well Kosa. Kosa. And that will bring Colvier Costa to 3-0.